<laughs> hey guys, welcome to the first mommy vlog. I'm in the car with the bump and um, this is like the only place I could find that was quiet enough to talk. So um, just wanted to say welcome to my new vlogs and I'm just so relieved that um, I was able to share the news and everything because everyone says wait till 12 weeks before you tell anybody and like now looking back I feel like that's silly but you just when it's your first time you don't know until you know and now we know and everything is going smoothly so it's okay to share with the world so I'm just like really relieved and I'm excited that I get to talk about everything that's changing in our lives right now because it's so much so many things are going on and we've been doing like a lot of doctor's appointments and I've been reading a lot of pregnancy books and you know just like figuring the whole situation out it's very life changing but in a very exciting and very welcome way so I'm going to talk to you guys about like what my workouts have been like about what my diet has been like but first let's go grocery shopping come with first we're fueling up car's gotta eat you know One of my main cravings lately is for orange juice, but I'd rather have these whole oranges. I also am obsessed with pickles. I'm also getting some onions for a recipe and some sweet potatoes. Green grapes are another one of my cravings. They're so refreshing and just really nice for a midday snack. I also need this butternut squash and zucchini for that recipe. And then I just like these cherry tomatoes to snack on. Some organic grass-fed ground beef and some organic chicken and that'll do it. That's it for the grocery shopping trip. I'll take you home and show you what I'm gonna do with all these foods because I think that's the hardest part about nutrition is like you know what to buy but you just don't know how to put it together into a meal, right? That's where I think a lot of people struggle. So come with me and I'll show you what we do. Some of this food is not for recipes. It's just like for snacking on. It's just kind of like typical staple stuff that we buy and I really haven't been eating that differently with pregnancy. Um, it's just say I've been eating like a little bit less protein, a little bit higher in carb. I'm not working out as intensely as I was before, so I don't feel the need to keep my protein as high. And I've been eating higher carbs just because that's what I really feel like my body's craving. Like I've been drinking juice, eating more fruit, eating more like rice and Ezekiel bread and um, potatoes, things like that. I have given up coffee and alcohol and fish. Oh my gosh, I'm having the worst camera issues right now. iPhone, not the best vlogger. I do want to get another vlog camera so that you guys can really be part of this journey. But hopefully that kind of explains my pregnancy diet currently and I will let you know if anything changes. Just having a little snack before I'm going to the gym. I'm, I'm vlogging right now. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. Are we vlogging? Uh, yeah, we're vlogging now. So I just wanted to tell everyone what I'm eating and I'm having this little orange. I have one training client, but then I'm actually going to the gym today. I know it's like a big deal. Brad's been waiting for this day, but this morning I woke up and I just I felt just waking up yeah. every morning. He's like, is today the day you go? Yeah. To he's like, is it today? And I'm like, no, not it's today. Christmas. And then today I'm all like, you know, I'm feeling like I could actually lift weights today. So I think there's just something psychologically about being out of the first trimester. I feel like it's safer for me to push myself and obviously I'm still going to be, trimester. I'm officially out of the first trimester, yeah. You, you didn't know that? I didn't really <laughs> Do you even know how many weeks we are, bro? <laughs> We're 13 weeks right now. Damn. I know. Damn. So that's Damn. official second trimester action there. And yeah, so I just feel like I'm ready to get down and dirty and I mean, you know, gently. But anyway, that's what's going down. So. Um, I'll keep you updated on what I eat after the workout. Bye. We're on our way to the gym and I just realized I forgot to vlog my peanut butter pickle sandwich. Uh, I put it on Snapchat, but there's like, it's hard to remember to snap and vlog at the same time. Are you even going to go with this vlog? Because if you didn't Totes. show that, this vlog is totally pointless. Is it though? I really wanted to show like every single thing I eat today, but I just... Why are you looking up here in that corner? <laughs> the lens is over there. Right there the lens. Hi. <laughs> What's up, lens? So I'm trying to work out, but I'm having like crampage cramps in my tummy that don't feel real good. So I think I need to cool it. 
but I managed to get in three circuits of three exercises, so a little something something. I'm going so light on all my exercises that I get winded really easily. Who's working with me? So we're just doing these and lateral raises and that's it for right now. Yeah, workout done. It wasn't the greatest workout of all time, but I was feeling cramps and that made me really uncomfortable. So, you know, this is just like a time when I feel like it's more important to listen to my body and the signals and calm down when things don't feel right than it is to really like push myself and try to get a good pump. So I'm trying to like not be selfish and not just do what I want to do, but do what feels right for Bambino in there. So I feel like Bambino was like, no mom, don't, chill, chillax. So I think I really need to be doing like 10% of what I am used to, which is good. It's still more than nothing, but you know, it's just really hard for me to, to scale it back. But I'm doing it and it's worth it. Woo, mommy and baby had a real good workout. That was actually kind of an intense yoga class but I made it. It's been totally like new experience for me to not use my abs, like purposely not use them, is I have to keep reminding myself like, don't contract. Behind the scenes again for another video starring this guy. This is our life, this is what we do.